Today we will be discussing about mechanism of pheromones. How this pheromone or any order is received by animal and how it's able to transduce the signal into neurons. This will be our main topic today. In this mechanism of pheromone, we will be discussing about how pheromone acts, what kind of neurons are involved in it. When it's just generated by any or produced by any animal, how other animals receive it? So I will draw a chart, chart here with which I will be able to describe what pheromones are and how they are able to act. Pheromone here, or we can say, why I have written order here? Because in case of mammals, we say they are order or any substance which creates action potential in neurons. There is a pheromone secreted by any animal. So it's sent to the olfactory sensory neurons. It's sent to olfactory sensory neurons. Olfactory sensory, sensory neurons have the, have the property of chemoreception. They receive this pheromone, they receive this order in order to stimulate the CNS. And the next step would be CNS. CNS stimulation. CNN is stimulated by olfactory sensory neurons. Furthermore, I will be discussing what these olfactory sensory neurons, where they are present. I will be discussing it. First, let me make the cycle complete, then we will be discussing olfactory sensory neurons because this is the whole topic that revolves around this olfactory sensory neurons. How it's getting stimulated? When olfactory sensory neurons, there is action potential in them, there is a Cyclic, cyclic AMP pathway is uh, activated and the and calcium and sodium channels are open, thrown open and there is an exchange of these two cations. Calcium and sodium channels open. So now the important stamp here is that there is a commutative effect. There are two main effects. I'm a little bit dull in drawing, so I'm sorry, guys. So I just make two arrows there, so there will be two pathways. This step it will involve endocrine system, and through this pathway, it will involve the behavior of the animal. So these are the two main pointers which will be under consideration when we talk about the mechanism of pheromones. When endocrine system is stimulated, we call it primer effect. Not only endocrine system, but endocrine system is an example and behavior is also an example there. There must, might be any development, there might be any secretion of hormone after the, um, this pheromone gets and, and secreted primary effect when behavior or any other effect like that that's temporary we call it releaser effect so what these are what is this releaser effect what is this what is this primer effect primer effect is a long-term effect that might involve change in development and on the other hand the releaser effect it is the temporary effect temporary change in the animal there is when there is cn stimulation animal knows what they have to do so they stimulate by their specific responses if endocrine system is stimulated we call it a primer effect primary effect there is a long term effect there may be change in the endocrine system when there is the secretion of sex hormones when there is there are courtship rituals are there so when there is secretion of sex hormone, it mostly creates primer effect. And when there is secretion of alarm pheromone, aggregation pheromone, other 
there, there are the temporary effect there's a change the quick they need to be get the aggregator at the site where the pheromone has been secreted so we call it release effect so main two points are there endocrine system behavior primer effect is noted down it's the long-term effect and release effect it's the short-term effect effect primary effect it's term effect example sex pheromone causes this effect example along pheromone 